So if you want to do a record a lecture, you can actually do this using Zoom. So the first thing you want to do is obviously make sure you have your slide deck uh, open on your desktop. In this case, I am using Google Slides. You can, of course, use uh, uh, PowerPoint or whatever tool. You just want to make sure it's up and open. Um, you want to then actually sign into Zoom. So I am in Zoom right now. And what I want to do is actually go to share screen and then I'm going to select the screen that is what I want to share. Um, and so actually, in this case, I will do screen two instead of just this um, this particular browser. So I'll select share and now I am sharing this screen. And so once I'm at this point, um, there's one other thing I want to do, which is uh, you can see the bar here. I want to actually make sure to uh, start record. So I can record to this computer or record to the cloud. You'll want to record to the cloud. Um, also at this point, right now my video is off, but I can turn my video on. And as you can see, there I am. I'm gonna move this out of the way. You don't want it on this. Uh, it, I guess it doesn't really matter where you have it for now, but um, just for my own concentration here, I'm gonna move it uh, to my second screen. All right, so I have all of that set now. Uh, so I have my video on, I come back over here, I'm going to record to the cloud. It's gonna say that whole recording in progress. And now I start my slideshow. So I'm just gonna do slideshow. Now what I recommend here is once you get to this point, stop and pause for a few seconds. I mean, you know, three seconds of silence. What you want to do is establish a silent point. Uh, and this will make sense when we go to the other end or when it's done and you can upload it. So your slides are there. You give that three second pause and then you just start to go through your slides. You talk about them, yada, yada, yada. Um, when you're done, you, uh, you, um, you basically, again, you say your, you get to the final slide, you say a thing or two. Again, I would recommend giving like a three second, five second pause. And then when it's all done, you stop sharing. Oh, there's my face all big. Um, and you can stop recording right there. So are you sure you wanna stop recording? Yes. Uh, so you can either do that or you can end the session, whichever makes most sense. I'm gonna just select, stop the recording and the Zoom and meeting for all. All right, so now I wanna, uh, now that I've done that, what I actually wanna do, what will happen is, depending on the length of your lecture, it will take, it can take, you know, two or three minutes, it can take upwards of an hour, to, you know, depending on how much you recorded and uh, what your internet connection is, okay? Say, say it takes about five minutes, you'll get an email notification uh, that your recording is now available. So once the, the recording is available, you actually have to go and get the recording. So what you'll want to do is go to Zoom and you'll want to sign in. And once in, you will log in using your uh, Zoom credentials. And what you're going to look for is recordings. So I select recordings. And right now, the recording that I just did is still processing. So I'm going to actually pause the video and wait a moment or two and, until it is ready. And then I'll show you what you want to do from there. Now that it has been uploaded, I got the email. I come in, see that it's here, tells me how many files there are. I select the particular recording. And now it gives me a couple options of things I can download or that I can share. Um, what I recommend first is actually going into the video itself. And here's where you actually can edit. Um, so I'm not, I don't recommend, you're, you're not doing a huge amount of edits, but you see this little scissors here, you can set the playback range. Uh, and so this is where I was talking about where I'll say, you know, you can you can change uh, viewers will be able to watch the recording with only the setback range. So this is what you're wanting other people to see. So you say, got it. 
And now this is where you might actually um, move it to where that beginning point was. So um, you obviously want to play it, but you know you might say once you get to that that point where it was silent, uh, you may want to start it here and then on this side edit to where the thing actually ends. Um, so it might be something like not when we were seeing my so. It's kind of nice. You can set where you start and end. So if you use the first minute to just get yourself situated, you don't have to worry about uh, the people watching it also seeing it. And similar at the end, as you finish, you give yourself a few seconds, uh, and then you can just you can save it. Um, you can also save it as a new clip and just share it out. So I'm just going to very easily save this. Now this is the recording that they will see. Uh, notice over here it's. Uh, we can see the, the auto transcript and it says stop, uh, stop and pause for a few seconds. Perfect. All right. Now that I've done that, uh, what I want to do is now be able to share this with students. So I'm going to close this browser and now I am back in this space and I want to um, share the copy shareable link. So I select that. And it says uh, the shareable link with passcode is copied. Um, so you will uh, have a passcode. And if you want to actually adjust that or remove that because you don't want to add any more complications, you come right up here to the share feature. And here again, it gives you a couple issue. It gives you a couple options of sharing publicly, meaning that's anybody with the link. Um, add an expiration date to the link. So after that certain date, you, the person can't, nobody can access it, even if they have a link. Viewers can download. So you can set this for them to be able to download the video or to only stream it. Uh, viewers can see the transcript. We always strongly recommend having this. Uh, view recording on demand. This is, uh, this is more if you were doing an event. Now that passcode protection. Um, this is what you can change right now. You click on the little eyelash, it'll show you what your code is. You can also turn it off. So if you're like, no, I don't want to have a passcode. I want them just to be able to see the link and, and get to it. You can, um, and then sharing information. If you wanted to, um, just use this to copy this and share it with your students. Um, that's what you could do. You could also select copy sharing information, paste that into an email, paste that into an announcement. Perfect. Um, so that's, that is the, the crux of how you do it. Uh, the first time or two, it's going to be a little clunky. Um, it's going to be a little weird, just, you know, getting used to, okay, I go into zoom, I get my screen set up, I share it. And then I do the, you know, I start recording, give myself that pause, go through my lecture and then, end. uh, the other thing I strongly recommend is, you know, don't worry about it being perfect. Uh, the, uh, the research is pretty clear that perfection in, uh, in, in lectures by faculty is not really that appreciated by students and it causes a lot of, um, a, a lot of extra work and stress for faculty that we obviously don't, nobody needs. Um, so it doesn't mean, it, it doesn't mean like you do whatever, but the ums, the vocal crutches, as you've heard in this presentation right now, those are all perfectly normal and you want to demonstrate that to students. You want to demonstrate like, there are going to be pauses. There are going to be stumbling. This is you being a person and that's totally fine. So I hope this video is helpful. I hope it gives you a sense of how you would do that. Uh, and if you have any questions, please let me know.